Hi guys, uh, we will be looking at vaccination today. So, you need to be able to describe the nature of vaccination, describe the features of effective uh, vaccination program, explain why vaccination uh, not always eliminates the disease and discuss the ethical issues associated with vaccination programs. So, in terms of the vaccinations, okay, uh, our, uh, our specification uh, is just here. So, ethical issues associated with the vaccines and monoclonal antibodies, and you need to be able to discuss those. So, first we will start at the differences between active and passive immunity. So, active immunity involves memory cells, passive doesn't. Active immunity involves the production of antibodies by plasma cells or memory cells. Passive involves antibodies introduced into body from outside. Active is then long term because it produces its own antibodies. Passive is short, pre, uh, short term because antibodies were broken down and introduced only. And active takes time, of course, because you need to produce your own antibodies. Passive is fast acting because there are already in, uh, antibodies are already introduced. Another thing then further, we can divide active immunity. So we can uh, divide this into natural and artificial active immunity. So what is the natural active immunity? Okay, so this uh, this is the effect from a person becoming infected with a disease under normal uh, conditions. So we will produce then uh, our own antibodies and they, uh, they might continue to do so for many years. In terms of the artificial active immunity, this is what we're uh, getting a form uh, that comes from the vaccination. So uh, involves including an immune response in a person without uh, them suffering any symptoms of that specific disease. So what is actually the vaccination? And be careful here. So look at the wording. So vaccination is the injection of antigens okay so the antigens coming from the uh, pathogen of course from the dead or weak mi uh, microorganisms and they stimulate the formation of memory cells so the actual process of vaccination how does it work it's nothing else than uh, than our video on b cells the process of b cells so make sure you revisit that video again but the fact is that vaccination might not eliminate a disease due to uh, many different uh, antigens. So, of course, what is the antigen? It's the uh, foreign protein found on the uh, pathogen. And this, of course, it's a protein. So protein can have a it has a specific 3D tertiary structure. So if that will mutate... So mutation is a change to the sequence of DNA uh, bases. If that takes place, of course, the different sequence of the amino acids will be coded. So that will affect the uh, specific 3D structure of this antigen. So imagine later on you will be affected by this uh, antigen, but it's uh, mutated antigen, the antibodies that your body produces the first time not going to be complementary, so they won't lead to deconstruction of that mutated antigen. So, what is then the herd immunity? So, herd immunity is the program where uh, we, we would like to get a huge portion of the population, okay, uh, uh, invited to uh, to uh, to to get some vaccinations. Why would you do it to make sure that this specific disease is not going to spread in that population? Okay. So explain how vaccines protect people against disease. Five marker. So uh, we need to uh, quickly recap on the B cells. So have a look through your notes for B cells because this is what we need. In questions like this, you need to start with the, with the easy point. Easy point, what is the vaccine? Okay, and this is a general question. It doesn't give you any specific names of the uh, antigens. 
doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't actually give you any details. So a general question, a general uh, model answer now. So starting with the easy point of what is the antigen, okay? Well, sorry, the vaccine. So vaccine contains the antigen, okay, which is the dead or weak uh, pathogen, okay, with the antigen on its surface. So in this situation, the memory cells are made. We know how they are made because we know the process of uh, B cells, the process of humoral immunity. And then when you are exposed to uh, to this uh, antigen in the second time, okay, the memory cells will produce antibodies faster. So look, rapidly and more are on the line. So when you're talking about memory cells, you need to always say that they produce antibodies faster and more. So antibodies then lead to deconstruction of the pathogen. Okay, so here we're allowed to use the word pathogen, same there, because there is no other terms showing us that they actually uh, identify the specific pathogen. So general question, general answer. But um, here we've got another question. So when a vaccine is given to a person, it leads to the production of antibodies against a disease causing organism described how? Five markers now, again, general question, because uh, disease-causing organism, it's nothing else than a pathogen, okay? So describe how does it take place. So again, look at the pattern. Vaccine, okay, what is the vaccine? Uh, contains the antigen from the pathogen, okay? Microphage or B cell, any antigen-presenting cell that presents antigen on its surface. T, uh, T helper cells, okay, with the complementary receptors bind to this antigen and stimulate specific, so let's add the word specific, specific B cells. They will have a complementary antibody on its surface. Again, the large amount of the antibodies will be produced, so many antibodies rapidly produced, so B cell can divide to form clones, produce the same antibodies right and then here we've got different type of the question so same idea but look specific question describe how vaccination can lead to protection against bacterial and then name the bacterial so in this approach here you will not use the words like pathogen okay you will be specific so let's have a look at the differences so you need to then say where are those antigens coming from okay so the antigen it's coming from that bacteria it's on the surface of its bacteria and the approach then stays the same so b cells can divide by mitosis stimulate specific they are stimulated by specific t helper cells so b cells release antibodies okay b cells become memory cells which produce antibodies faster Again, the same approach of producing faster, it's needed here, right? So we're going to leave those questions here for you to uh, have a look and to uh, realize where the answers are coming from. Same idea of more antibodies and faster will be involved in the application questions. Uh, here we've got a question. Uh, about the vaccine uh, that has been developed to pro, uh, protect girls and women from HPV, okay, and describe how giving a vaccine leads to production of this antibody. So look, again, we, uh, we've got the antigen coming from this virus, and that needs to be in your model answer, okay? So vaccine contains antigen from this virus, displayed on the antigen presenting cell, so B cell or microphage, specific T helper cells stimulate specific B cells, so they divide, okay, to produce antibodies faster, right? So that's everything about the vaccines. See you later.